Okay, so taking a look at the messaging application here. It's your standard Android 2.2 messaging uh, app. Doesn't look like there's any sort of skin or customization done to it. Very straightforward and simple. As you can see, that Boost has included the swipe keyboard uh, with the Prevail, so it gives you another alternative to the standard Android keyboard. Swiping works as expected, uh, as we've seen the swipe keyboard in the past. Simple and easy way to trace your uh, messages and your text input. Uh, you can switch to the standard Android keyboard by long pressing on an empty text box and selecting input method and that will switch you back to the standard Android keyboard. But as you can see the um, text messaging application is very basic and straightforward. Uh, it does show your messages in a threaded view so you do see both your sent messages and your uh, replies back uh, in the same view. Taking a look at the browser here it's your standard Android 2.2 browser. It doesn't seem to have any customizations that we can tell. Uh, it supports pinch to zoom. It's not the smoothest pinch to zoom, but it does work. And of course, you can pan and scroll around. It has double tap to zoom as well, but it doesn't, as you can see, it doesn't flow the text as nicely as we would like to see. It doesn't reformat it as nice. The browser does not support Flash. Uh, even though this is Android 2.2, uh, we're told by Samsung representatives that the uh, processor in the Prevail, um, which actually runs at 800 megahertz, does not have enough power to support Flash. So the plugin is not pre-installed out of the box and is not available to users in the market. Hitting the menu button does give you your options for your various windows if you can have multiple windows open at the same time. And then easily switch between them. So this time it reflowed the text nicely where it didn't earlier. Taking a look at the camera, um, the easy way to uh, access the camera is by holding the camera button down for a second. The phone will vibrate and open up the camera interface. Standard Android camera interface. There doesn't seem to be any tweaks or options as far as we've seen um, that Samsung has done to it. Pretty straightforward. Um, you can toggle between video and still recording right there. And then to take a picture, you can just line it up and you can use the camera key to take the picture. As you can see, there's no autofocus with this particular model, so it just takes the picture right away, which results in very fast response. Um, but when something is very close, it can be difficult to get direct focus on it. It's also no flash either, so indoors in poor lighting, you might have some, some issues taking clearer shots. As far as video goes, it is does have some f effects here um, that can be applied to both video and um, still photos, um, but the video itself is pretty straightforward uh, VGA resolution. It does allow you to shoot at a lower re uh, resolution if you wanted to send it as a video message. Let's take a look here. We can record a quick little video clip. Start and stop the button down there on the right. You can also use the camera key up here uh, to start and stop your video. Playback on there. That's the video function. Obviously, uh, you've got your standard gallery view with uh, Android to view your photos and videos. Sports pinch to zoom, so you can easily pinch and zoom in on your subjects. So there you go, that's a tour of the uh, hardware and the software on the Samsung Galaxy Prevail for Boost Mobile. Uh, we find this to be a, a very capable phone for its price point, 
Boost is actually offering it at $179.99. Uh, that's without any contract agreement. And you can also benefit from Booth's uh, $50 unlimited plan. And since this is a CDMA model as opposed to the older IDEN phones that we've seen on Boost, um, you get a nice speedy 3G network to use it on uh, and, and get the full benefits of the Android system. It's not the fastest phone in the world um, and doesn't have all the bells and whistles of some of the higher end Android models, but for uh, first timers coming on the Android system and, and who happen to be with Boost, uh, we think it's a very solid choice um, for them. This is Dan Seifert from MobileBurner.com. Thanks again, guys.